Baltimore. Hi guys, salutations, Tomela Legai. How is everyone doing? How are you? Um, I'm glad you clicked on this video because today we're going to be eating in alphabetical order for 24 hours. That is clickbait. I'm not doing this for 24 hours because these foods, I don't think they'll sustain me for a full day, but it is 23 minutes past eight. So it's basically in the morning we're just gonna go until we reach the letter z or z leave it down in the comments do you say z or do you say z i feel like it's an american thing to say z i don't know anywho please if you like the video don't forget to click the like button down below and watch the whole video all the way through okay now all of us know the alphabet we're going to start with the letter a and because I'm not crazy, I've grouped some of these foods together so that I can actually have a meal because it's morning time and I'm very hungry. So for A, B, and C, we're going to have avocados, bread, and cheese all in a, a sandwich. Now, fun fact, I made homemade bread the other day. It was the worst loaf of homemade bread I've ever made in my four years of baking, but it still tastes good, I guess. It just didn't rise well. There was a lot going on. Here's my bread. I made it in a loaf tin, that's why it's so small. Um, but we're gonna have two slices of it and it's probably gonna sustain me for the whole day. So this is our B. Here's our A. And here's our C. Feta cheese is cheese, okay? We don't discriminate about cheeses in this channel. And so what we have here is bread with butter on it. At first I thought that was cheating, but because it's a B word, it ends up working out um, with some avo and feta cheese. I swear to you guys, I wasn't planning to you know, jump through loopholes with the cheese one. We had cheddar cheese and then I finished it yesterday, forgetting that I was filming today. So we're just going to accept the feta cheese how it is. Okay. Seasonings don't count in this challenge because you need salt for everything. So I'm going to salt it a bit. Fun fact, the feta has black pepper in it, which also works out because it's a bee. So I literally have three bee foods in this meal. <laughs> that avocado sandwich was banging. Personally, I think it could have done with some hot sauce, but it's okay, it's all right. What's next for the letter D is that we're going to be making a one minute TikTok recipe donut that you do in the microwave. I saw Rosanna Pancino do her most recent video, at least at this time. Um, she tried TikTok recipes and this was the first recipe that she tried. She said she liked it, so I wanna try it too. Um, here we've got some brown sugar, cinnamon, flour, and baking powder. Uh, we're gonna add that into a bowl. To this, we're supposed to add melted butter, vanilla essence, which I'm going to add right about now into the butter, and some apple cider. Now, because <laughs> I'm South African, um, we call apple cider apple juice, but I googled it. An apple juice, listen, apple cider is literally apple juice just with pulp in it. Bruh. And they call it apple cider instead of calling it apple juice. I think they call the filtered apple juice apple juice. That's so dramatic. Do you know when I was little and I saw apple cider in recipes, I used to put apple cider vinegar because I thought it was the same thing. <laughs> Either way, that, that, all that to say, I don't have apple cider, neither do I have apple juice because I didn't plan properly. But we have water and we are going there. Nobody can stop me. We've got trusty old spicy leather spatula. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing here, but this is a strange dough. You guys, I just cooked this whole donut and it wasn't recording. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Dude, I made tons of taste it and I thought I got it on camera. This is this. Here's the donut that I just ate and gave you my full review on, but it wasn't recording. I said it tastes like a hot cross bun, and Tato and I both don't like hot cross buns. So. Disgusting. Tato, you are going to offend people. Hey. Not bad. I think I would make it again, maybe just not cinnamon flavor so that it doesn't resemble a hot cross bun. But this was the D food for the letter D. Now we're moving on to E and F. 
Hi besties, um, because I live in a family of five and it's currently lunchtime and everyone's up and making noise and there's a lot going on in the kitchen, here we are in the living room. Here I am to show you my uh, food choices for E and F. We have got eggs and fries. Um, I know in South Africa we don't call chips fries, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be calling them fries. I would put it in a little smiley face for you guys. Do you see the smiley face? I was going to make a tomato sauce nose right in the middle, but tomato is T, you know. The next letter is G, and I've got a really interesting choice for G. I will show it to you when I'm done eating my lunch. Salutations, you guys. It's been like five minutes and it's time for the G prompt because those eggs and fries, I ended up giving like half of that whole meal to my mom because the avocado sandwich in the morning really filled me up. Anywho, we have got goji berries. Now, these are dehydrated goji berries, which I hate. I hate it when I eat the dehydrated ones because they taste exactly like how dog food smells so i like to rehydrate them in hot water which is what i have over here i'm just gonna leave that to sit in there for like five minutes and then the goji berries are gonna puff up and they're gonna be delicious and then i'm gonna put sugar inside of this water and just have the goji berries in the mug because it's a waste of water if i just throw the water away and that's what i'm gonna be having for the g prompt hello darkness my old friend while I wait for the goji berries to rehydrate, I'm going to be reading Hang the Moon by Alexandria Belfur. I don't know how to say her surname, but that is literally my 36th book for the year. I'll see you again when it's time for A, B, C, D, F, G, H. Oh, H, because I know that the next few are going to be liquids. <laughs> All in all, we have come to a very sad day in which my first files have corrupted. I cannot find the clip in which I drank hot chocolate for the prompt H and iced tea for the prompt I. But those were the foods I had. Both of those clips have vanished. They grew wings and flew into the abyss. I cannot find them. But we're going to move on to the next letter because we don't dwell on spilt milk in this house. So give me three names that start with J. Jacob, Jackson, Jamal, Jessica, uh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> like all of those words, uh, this is jelly because we're on the J prompt. There's, I think it's orange flavored. I don't know. I made it yesterday. I'm a little bit already tired of this challenge because it's either I'm not hungry and I have to eat or I am hungry, but now I'm eating jelly and I'm not hungry for jelly. It's set really good. The texture is really weird, I'm not gonna lie, but that's just how jelly works. I'm so excited for K. I'm genuinely very excited. Even though I'm hungry for like solid food, I'm excited for K. Can anyone guess what it is? Well, you're probably gonna see in the next second or so. Okay, I'm gonna get into what we're eating for the letter K, but I'm like 20 pages away from finishing Hang the Moon. It's a really good book. <laughs> I think it's going to be a four star for me, but that's completely beside the point. This isn't a reading video. And which letter of the alphabet are we on? K, and can I get a drum roll for the K food? It's a Kit Kat. We're gonna be having a Kit Kat. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Do you want one? Take it. It's yours. Cause I love you that much. Especially if you already liked the video. And if you've already subscribed, then you get a Kit Kat. Mm, 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 mm. We're going to move on to L now, which is lemon bars. We're gonna be having the lemon bars that I made yesterday. It was a wild ride. This was my first time making lemon bars. As usual, I kind of skewed away from the recipe. So I don't know if they're gonna come out good, but I do wanna take pictures of them for my Instagram first. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna show you the lemon bars and we're gonna eat them for the first time. I'm so proud of myself. First of all, I think that the pictures I took came out well. That's why I have a flower in my hair. I kind of posed with the lemon bars. Um, hopefully if I'm on top of my game, by the time I've edited and posted this video, those pictures will be on my Instagram. Go follow me, go like that picture, at Colorful Lychee. Um, But now we're gonna do a taste test, and this will determine what I am saying about these lemon bars in my caption. Do 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 do. Hmm. 
Mmm. This is really good. Out of 10, I'd rate it a solid eight. I love the lemon thing. I was so scared that it was gonna taste like eggs. That's why I kind of held off on doing lemon bars for this long, but it doesn't. So this is my first time basically tasting lemon curd is what it is. Um, and it's really good. So I'm really happy. Yay. Now, according to the list, it is time to move on to the letter M. And again, it's a sweet. It's literally a dessert. You guys, I'm just eating sweet stuff. My poor, poor teeth. I can hear the cavities calling from a mile away, but it doesn't matter because for the letter M, we're going to be having Madeira cake. Please don't mind the sound of the washing machine in the background, but we've got some shop-bought Madeira cake over here. Me and my family ate some yesterday because it's just really that good. Okay, I just warmed my slices up, but does anyone know what Madeira actually is? Because I'm sitting here thinking about it. Like, banana bread is made with bananas. What is Madeira? Is it, is it a jam or something? I don't know if that's a dumb question. As a certified teen pastry chef, I should probably know this, but well, I'm going to Google anyway. Madeira cake is made with more flour than Victoria sponge and has a firmer texture and is therefore more suitable for carving as it holds shape when it's carved in ice. Okay. Is Madeira an ingredient? Can I go to the shops and ask for Madeira? Or is that a stupid question? I have a feeling it's a very dumb question. From looking at two recipes, I've come to the conclusion that what makes Madeira cake special is that you usually, lemon is somehow involved. And then perhaps ground almond? I went to BBC Good Food because I really wanted the British, British recipe. And they use 50 grams of ground almond. I don't, I definitely don't think this shop board version has ground almond. But now I want to taste like a proper fresh Madeira cake. Either way, the slaps. I truly wish that I could have this with custard. You see, that donut situation, it would have gone perfect with custard. So would this Madeira loaf, but because of the challenge, I can't. I'll see you when we're on N. Five hours later. Salutations, one and all. It's been five and a half, probably more than that, hours since I last talked to you because a lot of things happened in that time. But we're not gonna talk about that, you know what we are gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about how I have the power to speed run the next few letters. It's probably more than 10. I can't do maths that fast. Let me check how many letters we still have. We have only completed 10 letters so far. As we can see from this list, we still have a long way to go and it is half past eight at night. I don't want to be eating at freaking midnight. So we're gonna speed run this, okay? We're gonna speed run this. What do I have for N, you ask? A narki. So, narchi, it starts with an N and we're eating it for the N prompt. Mm. They do not. Narchis do not have seeds in them. Let us finish this narchi and move on to LMN O. O. I realize now that I haven't told you why I have a deep conditioning cap on my head. Not necessarily that I'm obligated to. We could literally coast through this whole video with my having a deep conditioner cap on my hair and not saying a thing about it. And you're just watching the video like, I mean, vibes. But... <laughs> Also, I made a knot and I don't know how to undo the knot. That's why there's just, there's just, you know what I'm saying? There's just a little bit dangling there. I don't have the patience to undo that knot. There's a knot going on. Anywho, we're moving on to the letter O. And for that, we have onion rings that I made like three hours ago and now they're a little bit soggy. Um, but it's okay because they're still tasty. Okay, before I finish the whole bowl and make myself full, we can cross off the onion rings and now we're moving on to the letter P, which is going to be popcorn. I made popcorn earlier on in the day. I put it in a big bowl for no good reason. Okay, wait, I forgot to put salt on the popcorn. Now we're moving on to Elemino P Q. We're moving on to Q. Now, I had to get creative with the letter Q. I was going to do a quesadilla, but 
Fun fact, the camera stopped recording because the battery was dying and I talked for a solid 10 minutes all about the food and it wasn't recording. So now I have to tell you all about the food again and I want to cry. Anywho, I was saying about the quesadilla that I didn't want to make it because I've already made a lot of the foods that I've eaten so far homemade and it was going to be a lot of work. Um, so I got a quarter pounder. So yeah, the meat tasted very dry. I put mayo and hot sauce in and now I like it much better. I'm also going to enjoy. I'm going to watch a YouTube video while I eat my supper and then we're going to carry on with the last six, I think, letters that I still need to do. As you can tell, I'm very hyper. But we are moving on to R because R is the letter after Q and we have raisins for that purpose. I just had a whole handful of raisins while talking about Stray Kids. Um, what's the letter after R? S. What did I have planned for S? Do you know? I forgot. Let me get my phone. Hold on. For S, I had written down sweets. And for that, I have these random marshmallow bites that my dad got yes i know these are mellow bites it starts with the m but it does fall under the category of sweets i kind of scammed myself on that prompt because the american synonym of sweets is candy and according to google marshmallows do not count as a candy for a lot of reasons but i won't get into them now instead what we are going to do is act like that never happened and move on to the next letter thank you and and for the letter t we are going to be sipping on some warm freshly steeped cup of tea it's hot it's piping it's steamy it's rooibos tea I'm actually very proud of what I made for the letter U. It's not that grand, it's not that amazing, and I'm not even gonna lie to you, I think it's very much a loophole. So let me finish my tea, and then I'll show you what we have for the letter U. It is applesauce, but how does it fall under the U category, you ask? It is unsweetened applesauce. Is that a loophole? Absolutely yes. Unsweetened is more of a descriptive word than a word to actually describe the food itself. But I genuinely tried to research for this video for like two weeks before and either the food that started with a U I would need to go get at some health store that was like many kilometers away or I just didn't want to eat that specific food. So we've got unsweetened applesauce which I personally don't mind. Bear in mind, earlier in the video, I had said that the bread I used to make the avocado toast was the worst loaf I had ever made in my whole life of baking. And I used that same dough to make these fetkuks. Um, if you're not South African, fetkuk is fried bread in a circular form. They're usually delicious. This was my first time trying it. It went horribly because the dough that I used, again, I don't know what I did with that recipe. It was just a mess. So this is the fed cook we have. It's like a brick, bro. Yes, yes. Like, bro, please look how dense this is. It's so chewy, too. It's like eating a tough steak. 3,000 years later. I may or may not have just woken up from a nap. Rise and shine. I don't know where I left off the last clip. But anyway, we are moving on to W, which is water. But because I want to spice up my life, I'm going to try chug this whole thing as fast as possible. Three, two, one. a yellow pepper we're going to eat it raw like this because i'm tired <laughs> mm, in hindsight i probably should have washed this we're going to be ending off this whole challenge with the letter z with zucchini bread we have one right here i'm very full but we're going to eat at least a quarter of it because i think that's the best way to end off this video Oh, look how good that looks. Look how vivid the green specks are. I'm going to warm this up and put a bit of butter on it. That's the best way to eat this. Also, I put a bit of cheese and garlic into the zucchini bread because I didn't want it to be just plain zucchini. But I don't think that's cheating because, again, it has more zucchini than cheese and garlic. 
very hot but very flavorful friends i think that's the perfect way to end off this video as you can tell i'm very tired but i thoroughly appreciate you watching this whole video all the way through so long fare thee well pip pip cheerio i will see you in my next video bye Are you good though? B? Girl, why is it so bright? I got I got me a dung scene. Tato. I'll flip this camera with a suave. Yes. Watch me. Daddy said that you can't have any because you're going to the dentist. Toto! You know it's so stale!